This is a demo of the explain feature in the RDFox 6.3 web console. Here we have a data store which is an RDF representation of the BBC Food Recipes database containing 1.3 million triples. We start on the sparkle screen. Here I've created a query for every recipe in the data store that has a label containing the string roast potato and which has been tagged as non-vegan. So I'm really interested in output variable R but I've bound the IRI that tags a recipe as non-vegan to another output variable T so that the edges between the recipe and the tag will appear in the explore mode when we visualize the results of this query in hopefully one or two milliseconds time. So I will run the query slightly under two milliseconds and I will explore the results. So here we have the seven recipes tagged as non-vegan as a graph. If I use the highlight reasoning feature, all of these are lit up as in blue because all of these edges represent derived facts. No recipe in this store, let alone these results, is explicitly tagged as non-vegan. So we can use the explain mode to explain why any of these recipes are non-vegan. It's worth noting that this technique can't be used to determine why a fact in the form of an edge is not present here. You can only explain why a fact does exist, not why a fact doesn't exist, even if its absence is uh, surprising. Now, some recipes like the roast potato, turkey, sausage and stuffing pie are unsurprisingly non-vegan. But let's investigate one of the more ambiguous edges. So I will right click to get a context menu and explain this derived fact. This is the explain mode. On the left is the proof tree showing the derived fact we're interested in at the root. The crunchy confit roast potato recipe being tagged as non-vegan. Under each derived fact are the supporting facts other derived facts marked with tiny arrows and explicit facts forming the leaves of the tree. Here we have one derived fact that can itself be explained and one explicit fact. By clicking any of the derived facts, such as the root fact itself here, I can see the rule that caused the fact to exist in the details pane in the bottom right. And by clicking an explicit fact below it, the details pane highlights where that fact is used in the body of that rule. The top right panel shows a graph containing any triple where the checkbox is checked in the proof tree to graphically visualize all or part of the explanation. So by highlighting the root fact, I can see that the rule that causes this recipe to have the non-vegan token says that a recipe with a general ingredient of meat is non-vegan. It seems like a sensible rule. But an important point here, the general ingredient property is not the same as an ingredient. None of these recipes explicitly list meat as one of their ingredients. A recipe has ingredients and subclass relationships in the form of rules, derived generalizations. For example, all of the recipes I've been talking about contain potatoes and potatoes are vegetables, according to the ontology. So by reasoning, all these recipes contain vegetables. So how does the system know that this recipe contains meat? We need to dig deeper into the tree of the explanation. Click in the next level down. I can see the rule that derives the fact that this recipe contains meat. And it's the aforementioned subclass rule. The data log says that if a recipe contains a general ingredient, then it contains any generalization of that ingredient. And by clicking on the grounded tab, 
on the details pane, we can see the substitutions for the variables in this rule involving this mysterious other meat. In the ontology of general ingredients, there are white meats and red meats. And anything that does not fall into these categories, such as fog, is in the class other meat. So we have established that this recipe contains meat because it contains other meat, but we need to dig deeper to find out why it contains other meat. Let's open the tree as far as it can go. Hardy Fox will give us the shortest possible explanation, which will be finite. Sometimes seeing all of the relevant facts in the tree at once is enough to fully understand an explanation. The three panes here could be resized to see the facts of the tree better than this. But I wish to draw your attention to the associated rule in the details pane. Why does the recipe contain other meat? Because of the subclass rule again. Change to the grounded tab. Because it contains lean game meat and lean game meat is a type of other meat. Let's go deeper in the tree again. Stain on the grounded tab. Why does the recipe contain lean game meat? Because it contains a mysterious food 1080. And the mysterious food 1080 is a type of lean game meat. This IRI name food 1080 is a little cryptic. Fortunately, if we add it to the graph, we get to see the IRI's label. And we can see that the general ingredient is duck. So why is duck a general ingredient? If we highlight this fact in the tree, it's also highlighted on the graph because it's present in the graph. Uh, we see that the reason for duck being a general ingredient is a rule that we haven't seen before. And the data log here is simply saying that if a recipe lists an ingredient, then it has that as a general ingredient. In other words, if it's in the recipe, it's in the dish. And in our particular case, crunchy confit of roast potatoes contains duck as a recipe ingredient. And therefore, if you make that dish, it's going to have duck in it. We can illustrate the presence of meat in this dish on the graph as follows. dish explicitly contains duck. From this that we do derive that it contains a general ingredient of duck. It contains, therefore it contains lean, lean game meat, therefore it contains other meat, therefore it contains meat. So we can conclude that the dish contains meat because the recipe contains duck. And so having observed the rules are sound, we can finally check all the explicit facts here. Here's an additional illustration. And conclude that because crunchy confit of roast potatoes is a recipe, it has the ingredient duck which is a specific form of lean game meat, which is a specific form of other meat, which is a specific form of meat, then this recipe is non-vegan. And that's our final conclusion. Thank you for watching.